Okay, so in this course, there's two ways in which you're gonna be interacting with WordPress. You're either gonna be putting in content or you're gonna be messing with the design. When it comes to content, we're talking about the reflections that you write and maybe also the about me statement that you'll be working on later in the semester. So what's important about that is this is the beef beefy, really beefy part of the course. We want you to really take some time, to think about what you've done at Wesleyan and write about it for an outside audience. When it comes to design, we're talking about things like what the homepage looks like, the colors you use, the font, and the imagery. Somewhere in between, we should also talk about categories. These are gonna be the ways that you group your reflections and put them in the navigation menu so that somebody who visits your site knows where to go and knows what you think is important. I kind of think of categories as sitting somewhere between content and design. The reason this matters is that depending on what you're doing, you're gonna be going to a different place in WordPress to get that done. So remember, I talked about content and design. Here we are in the back end, i.e. the dashboard of WordPress. A couple things to note here. To begin with, for any of the templates you use in this course, I've given you a little sticky note where I've given you some ideas of the first things you should do to start to edit your site. I tell you how to change the name of your site from my blog to your name and how to add some content, which is important because that's what you're gonna be doing when you put your reflections into WordPress. So when you think about content versus design, I like to think about there actually being two dashboards in WordPress. To add content, to put in your reflections, you are going to be in this dashboard that we see right here. But if you want to edit the design, you're going to go to appearance. And in most of the themes that you use in this class, what you're going to see is an option to customize. And when you click on that, it is going to bring to a additional dashboard. It's coming up right here. Sometimes it takes a second to load. And here is where you will edit a lot of the design styling of the site. So for instance, in this particular template, there's some changing of the colors that I can do, and there are some additional theme options that basically help me mess with font or how things are organized on the page. So in this class, when I come over and help you and I say, oh, go to the other dashboard, this is what I mean. It means that you're not in the right dashboard to do this if you want to add content or mess with 